Hello everybody, I'm Raphael Perry and it's time for some more War Tales. Now, what am I doing this episode? Uh, lots and lots of cooking apparently, but also let's try get some contracts. What's available? Uh, for now, at this point, we're just day 10, we want to kind of stick to easy contracts for now. They don't pay so well, but hey, all the way down there, past the Lund farm, near the tower, in fact. Not the Mount Altus tower, the other one. Right. How are we doing for tools? Not so bad. Um, right. Who have we here? A knife man. Another spear, essentially, and another bow. Okay, so we don't need to hire anyone else just yet. We do want to be making better equipment. Which we obviously don't have the... Right, we want more metal. What is our priority? Um... So we could make you... You've already got an okay shield. Make you a better weapon. We don't have that. So, 200 axe, and I think you're already sorted, right? Yeah, so, um, in that case, we're looking at getting wood, leather, and metal. We can get the leather from the marketplace in limited quantities. Let's go. So, I'm going to meander on down this way, and then cut through the forest, which does risk running into brigands and ruffians and ne'er-do-wells in order to avoid the drunkards. Oh wait, didn't I deal with them in a previous episode? Sorry, it's been a while since I last played them. No, no, I see them walking around. Hey, what's this? This is plants, but I'll take them anyway while they're here before I forget. So, current goals for the company include getting better equipment. Um getting more people, getting more knowledge, and equipment comes before, oh, get lost, We're walking around the edge of the bloody mountain here, look, it's really fine, stupid people, I swear I've been able to do it before, oh well, even more risk now then, yeah, yeah, see, just walk through it, it's like nature. This episode's off to a great start, isn't it? So yeah, equipment comes first, then knowledge, then more people. Because I can already make one or two more pieces of new equipment with the knowledge that I have. Knowledge comes slowly anyway. People, we want to grow the company slowly and not rush it. Yeah. I'll have this. Ah, oh, some venison. And then we will camp. Okay, well, fine, we'll just camp here then. Now, let's indulge in a spot of cooking because we got all those wonderful cooking supplies. We will get two free loaves of bread and three portions of grilled pork and this will probably cover our needs quite significantly. Are we making anything here? With the metal that we have, we kind of need more. A few more lockpicks wouldn't go amiss, though, in theory. None of these have knowledge. Okay, that does, but we don't have requirements for that. Right, so, food. Dum, 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 dum. Okay, roll that back. Because we got these to get rid of. because those are heavy. There we go. So, as I mentioned previously, I've been enjoying playing this game off camera a bit as well, and I've tried to avoid places that I haven't covered in previous recorded episodes and quests, and yeah. You know, but there's been an inevitable little bit of finding stuff, and sometimes it goes a little bit further, but there have been you know, borders I've set myself, you know, limits of I will not do this thing, I will not do that thing. That being said, 
I have traversed into the two surrounding areas to the southwest and the north east here and that has made them available as starting areas and there are differences right overall it's a fairly similar experience but in the southwest there's a lot of rope and sometimes a little bit of metal um, but it's like you don't get a lot of metal or wood so much there um, so you you can make lots of bows but less um, of the more heavy duty arms and armors and then to the northeast there are differences in what's available as well right let's move these round I can probably get yes let's get everyone on the same side we've got a shield a shield you are a poisoner we don't like that we'll get a shield down there as well is that good yes that's good so we're going to get two turns we want to nail him down but that will redirect him so we want to pin you down as well so let's send in Edred to throw a spear nice as you may have seen there my mouse really hovered over the end turn button I really wish it was just over here retreat button could be somewhere else like up here or something else, or just above the line right but having normally in a game like this the first button is your move button and having the end turn button where you expect your move button to be even though it's obviously delineated with these separate borders is somewhat bothersome and can lead to mistakes there we go obviously learning the hotkeys for end turn would be useful as well but hey let's just chuck a spear at him uh, oh her her because so oh you're named oh you probably survive a bit then Volker's gonna have to take an extra turn to take you down yep ow poison not poison okay let's get you in here axe attacks now we are trying to get Kulgar a two-handed axe Ah, oh, one health left that's a disappointing all right we'll run Melker up here and jab with our improved weapon it'll do a lot of damage yep that's a lot and end her turn for the adjacency bonus but you can't quite get adjacent but you can still shoot this person here ah which is freedom up actually that could be a problem oh well ah, he's still going nearest still going nearest nice and simple right so if we move you to here ah that was a mistake the freedom up getting might go for Kulgar at this point Let's see. Yes. Somewhat predictable, but it happened. Right. 13 health. I don't think Edred can get the kill. How are we going to do this? Uh, let's go up here. Oh, didn't quite do it. Okay. Fine. Here we go. Job done. So, the Brute class is pretty damn devastating, to be honest. Let's run you over here for support. And then, how about we have you come try get the kill? It could happen, okay? It did not happen. Sadly, that means you're taking poison damage. Well, let's just do this, keep it simple. Okay, we'll mend our gear. We've got a level up there. That's great. Bit of armor. That's good. A fancy lace ribbon. An amazing hairbrush. Two levels. Okay, so. Melka. Oh, that's good for movement. Movement's good for a support role. Now. The harpooner, I don't particularly... Oh. Oh, yes, I wanted to talk about this as well. Um, 
the specializations for the Spearman don't include a stat upgrade. For virtually any other class, they'll be like, um, they'll have a, a stat upgrade on them. Like, uh, for instance, this is Constitution. That, I think, is Strength. That's Constitution. Generally, Heavy Armour is Constitution. Strength for Close Combat ones. Like, here we had uh, uh, Strength. I can't remember what that is. I think that's Constitution, right? Um, archers, I can't remember if they get any. We'll obviously go with Valorous Support. And movement to make that Valorous Support happen more often. Now. Here. Here. She's going to need... I don't know if willpower helps for battle cry, right? Um, and then we come up to here for these three, which is uh, one extra an ally. This unit has brutality, so 30% damage boost. Every time, Each time an adjacent ally is attacked by an enemy in close combat, deals six damage. That six is obviously scaling of weapon damage, right? And strength and other things. So that's like the counterattack support. That's the damage boost support. Attacks against ranged units apply destabilization for round, one round. Guard reduced to zero. Well, are ranged people going to have a high guard stat? Because guard tends to come from armor. And... Right. So Herald, we can have the, the big boost gives everyone 50% damage boost. For two, or... Spear wall. You know what? For her, I'll go Pikeman. Herald would be nice, but I don't know again if she's got the stats for it. A um, bit of constitution will help us carry stuff more. Um, that's two movement, though. That's pretty good. Especially as she'll eventually be getting some armor. Right. Back to town we go. We're not going to tackle the old lighthouse because we're mercenaries. We haven't been paid to, you know. <laughs> We have not been paid to do this. Right, have I explored down there? It looks like I have. I have. Okay. Now, I read on the forums that the mines do actually replenish their stocks of metal ores. So, if I can get the job to go clear that mine out so that I don't have to go do it manually, right, I should then be able to do that on a regular basis and start building more equipment because otherwise if the mines didn't refill I'd noticed metal regrowing around the map but having the ability to just go and mine it every now and again would be much more convenient because I'll know where it is instead of having to look around all the hills and mountains so yeah we're not going to be making any new equipment I'm going to sell that hourglass and probably that dagger to be honest Oh, 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 I got body armor. Who would like... Right. I mean, it's not very good. It's just light armor. Uh, 12 armor's not bad. Right. You've got some medium armor we've made already. Um, It's going to be you, then. Because you've got a... You've got armor. You've got a little bit. You get an upgrade. There we go. Oh, he's very close to levelling. So, being mercenaries, of course, we want to get paid. It's what we do. Right. Uh, let's go to market and sell these. Why am I mousing over this? I should be mousing over this. <laughs> right, sell that, sell that, sell that. These cruel warrior men have no need of such things. I mean, the woman kind of is like, hey, could have kept the hairbrush, but they're like, yeah, just use the comb you got. It's knackered anyway, and it does the job well enough. Um, so I could buy a lever to make something quick. Right, hang on. I'm not going to be able to make anything very decent with just free metal, am I? I'm, I'm wanting at least four for any... I mean, these would be good for knowledge, right? They would push me up to, like, maybe 130. Um... And where would I... Oh. Okay. Yeah, let's go meet the hunters. Right? And get the... Do I want to sell that? Yeah, I might hire a knife man eventually. Also, I want to be thinking about that uh, 
dangerous individual roaming the countryside whose daughter was slain by bandits who now thinks everyone's a brigand and seeks to end their lives there is a contract to kill him that's okay um so he's very brutal he gets every time you take a turn or two he takes a turn or two and he's he's a two-handed hammer person so he has two he has like a, a judgment where he puts a mark on you no i didn't want to go in here i was clicking on the wood thank you very much so he'll he'll put a mark on people he's like i'm gonna kill you and then then his other move is to like run over there and do it basically so he'll hello what you got you got stuff to sell me please tell me you got stuff to sell me oh hello tools yes and let's get one more rope so we can make a bow or something let's make it two there we go anything over here there's usually yes there is something over here great so we're going to go up here to meet the hunters and get the hunt contract but we're not going to do it we're just going to have it so we can do it when we need to why do you turn around hey i wanted to deal with you what you got um you know, let's have a couple of bags of beans get a bit of variety in our diet a bit of roughage never hurt anyone there's too much meat in this um in the diet in this game right so we're going to meet this old man here and he's going to tell us go hunt Sika the great wolf and we're going to say yeah that sounds like a great idea also beggar has these to sell which we can get with animal fangs we need a lot more but knowing we can get them i think increases the uh, odds of gaining them slightly right there's wood here so we're gonna have that over there above the mountains there is sometimes metal over there near the mountains there's usually metal so i'm gonna pay close attention to our encumbrance and understand that we will soon be camping and rest hey that's metal okay yeah let's camp now i forgot to sell that those rags okay well let's cook right let's go two each we'll get some more uh again the pop-ups after the first time i cook something do i really need them well they do alert me to quality um you know what that'll do yeah Bores. Uh, it's annoying that clicking the rest button puts the mouse automatically over the distract, bribe, negotiate button to avoid a fight. Because it's easy to just go, yeah, just click the fight button and accidentally click that instead. Um, I'm not saying it should be placed above it or something. I'm just thinking maybe the, the, the rest button uh, menu. Right, so what do I want to do here? We've got four people here, one person here. I, I have a suggestion for developers, which I would like to see implemented. Uh, I might have to post this on the forums, which is when you get ambushed, don't allow the player to redeploy and just make them have to fight it out in their current positions. I, I, I like that idea and it feels good. I mean, yeah, it's an inconvenience, but it feels more organic. Oh, so close. Volker, we want to get you down here, right? Engage this one. Because we got a person with a bow. Yeah, yeah, you come fight Volker. We'll get him some better armor in a bit. Let's just pop you there. And you can jab that one very effectively okay let's see plus side oh you don't get to get into base to base we really need to work on her mobility on the plus side slaying these boars will net us some more animal teeth you know, fangs and claws 
on the downside, we'll also have bear carcasses and meat and stuff hanging around, which will be heavy. So we might be struggling a bit with encumbrance the next day. Now, that is actually a point. Let's engage here to prevent them from running amok among the lions. And for those people who say run amok, I say stop being American. There's no such word. Oh yeah, I can get all over there, that's great. Uh, let's even make it here, because we've got a bow. We have a bow. Oh, 43? Fine, we'll just shoot this one then. That's 43% chance to hit our own man. That's a little bit on the high side. Right. You. You. Behind the boar. Yes, that's right. There we go. And spear wall. Just because we can. And then he's going to come forwards. And Oh no, he's in base to base, so he's fine where he is. Alright. How about we have you go for the kill? And then stand here to invite the boar to come across the trap. And then you can hope the boar won't come for you. Just run over here with your club, which we will replace with a metal weapon at some point, I promise. You know what, let's get a heavy hit in there now. Yeah, there we go. Nice. And the boar went for him anyway. Damn it. It's a long way around and I don't fancy running through the trap. Okay. Well, look. Um, oh. Just under. Okay. We got that point back. Also... Uh, spending Valor is very useful for advancing company uh, properties. The extra sort of skill layer. So investing in good Valor generating talents is useful. Right, so we pick up all that lot. We won't mend our stuff. You got a level. Hooray. Edred, you are... We'll mend your gear. Right. What are we looking at here? Uh, deflection. This will replace his sword attack, basic combat action. Um, gets us a point of valor, so that is good. Uh, every time he engages in combat, not is engaged, he gets a point of valor. So he runs in, attacks, and then gets deflection. So, But it wouldn't be a valor generator, right? Um, gets repost, so slash back of some sorts. Daring, as long as the bonus is activated on this ship. So basically, we're probably looking at one of these two. Valorous Jewel and Bulwark is a good combo, so I'm going for that for him. Now, I will get a bit of strength. Because, no, that's just really good. Let's do it. There we go. Right. And yes, we're now overburdened. But we got to rest. Okay, what are we doing here? We're going this way and then rolling back. We've got the food and the money to go for a few days. Um, do you... No, you don't. That's good to know. Do we know how to make saddlebags? We do not. I don't know when the next patch is coming, but I hope it rebalances weight training because that's half a saddlebag. Right, that's not very good. So, the paths. Uh, where are we? One of these gains extra bonus from there. Valor points spent. Fourteen out of a hundred. We get to a hundred. We get some good stuff. Right. So, yeah, I see the metal. I see it. I see flowers. Wow, it's like, what a wonderful world. Red roses too. 
Okay, we're having you. Except we can't click on you yet, apparently, because we're not allowed to. There we go. Now we've got the blue circle of gathering. We know it's all going to be good. So we're going to get that metal, that metal. It probably won't take us up to eight or nine. So can we... Oh, yes, it is completely possible to use a rope and grappling hook and climb up and down cliffs to cross the borders. Um, I'm not sure I'd advise it at this point, but it can be done. Go on, go on, give us, like, free metal. That'd be really nice. Just one. Okay, so we're up to four. So five. Good. So we could create something. Now, somebody really wanted me to learn the run perk. I've tried it. I can see why people like it. I don't like it. Um, while it says you can use it to run away from enemies, you can literally use it anytime. There's like a, a cooldown. You can only run for so long. And you just press the shift key. And that's like all the annoying crafting minigames where it's, oh, oh, that looks like ghost fog. That's ghost fog. We got to get out of here as quick as we can. Whatever that is, we ain't picking it up. Oh, it's wood. Yeah, if we get caught in the... Right, so ghost animal packs are very nasty. And it's, it's, it's hard to defeat them because every time a ghost hits you, you get a, a stack of terror or horror or whatever it's called. And once you've got five of them, you run. So you get hit five times, you're out of the fight and they come in there's like a second wave then a third wave and you know they more and more come pouring in it is not something for the faint of hearted and that looks like metal to me i i uh, i think that cliff is too shallow and needs to be steeper if we're going to climb up and down that's okay we're going to hopefully get off this mountain and rest soon Possibly even before we get off the mountain. So how bad are we for 81? Oh yeah. Yeah. Resting once won't do it. We're still going to be going slow tomorrow. When we get back to the town. I can't remember its name. Sorry. I just keep seeing Tiltron and thinking that's the name of the town. It's not. It's uh, Stromkamp. Which I keep wanting to call Stromkamp. For some reason. Oh good. We get to rest now. Great. Resting is good. We get to eat. We got two bread. We got two. We're good. We're good. We just munch. Pay our wages. We get back to town. Mend Kulgar's equipment. Wish we could find two more metal. Oh, good. We can appoint someone captain. Now, the captain is a nice, fun role. Uh, who should it be? I mean. Volker as captain would be very tempting, right? Uh, what does the captain get again? The captain gets the order to... Uh, it's like once per battle, little aura around the captain, get a valor point for everyone in the aura, right? I think it's uh, the same thing you get when you're near the end of a battle. If you're winning. That is. If you're losing near the end of a battle, you get dead, generally. Hmm. Wealthy farm. Friends north of the lake. So that was... I'm trying to think. Wasn't that down here somewhere? But it wasn't. It's probably this one. Uh, the lumber mill? Hmm. So at present, until we've got three people with proper decent iron weapons, we shouldn't take on medium difficulty, average difficulty tasks. We should stick to the easy ones for now, which means there'll be days when there's nothing we can do. If we get more people, we can carry more stuff. If we get more ponies and horses and donkeys, we can... That looks like a donkey. That does not look like a pony. Um, we can carry more stuff. Right? Beasts of burden obviously do a better job of it, but they need to be fed and watered and looked after, and they don't fight yet. You will notice that it does actually have a, a, a kicking rush attack skill. So 
So at some point in the future, maybe I'll be suburban will fight and we'll have to protect them to keep them alive. Perhaps they will only fight if we get ambushed or you know, or attacked and unable to defend ourselves, and we have to like defend them so we don't lose what they're carrying. Or be massively overburdened after a fight. Tricky. There's, there's no knowing yet. The developers have been very quiet since the early January update, which included a lot of the things they had on the timetable for January and February. They haven't included the level scaling start option to turn off the level scaling. Yet, which was supposed to be a January thing. So we'll see where they go. Hello. Can we buy and sell stuff, please? We have money. Do you have good things? You have really good thing. And actually really affordable as well. Yes. Okay, Edred is our protector, our defender. He needs good armor. This is okay armor. It's not brilliant, but it will keep him alive. Well, thank you very much for the trade, and we are now massively overburdened. But he has actual body armor now. He looks tough. Right. You're defended. You're somewhat defended. You... Eh, let's replace those ranks. Here we go. Now, again, the majority of our equipment will be stuff we create ourselves. But anything we can do to supplement that in the meantime is a massive added bonus. We need more salt. Um, cooking recipes are good. There is a way of prioritizing knowledge points, but I can't remember exactly what it is. We are... Oh, we're, we're going to hit new knowledge. We're going to go make... Um, a throwing axe or throwing knife. Sell it. Unlock something. Uh, it could be running. It could be long distance running. It wouldn't be weight training because that's not worth it. Now, for money and for glory would be good. Uh, influence will become more important later on. Now it doesn't do very much. But when we start negotiating mercenary contracts and haggling for a higher fee we spend influence on that and it can all go very quickly if you're not careful uh, you, you can go for like a, a few weeks of maxing out influence on every contract and going yeah yeah we'll do stuff and then find you suddenly got nothing left right we didn't have a contract so we're not getting paid is there anything nice available for us uh, desperate refugees easy absolutely we'll take it also, inform Marheim. Bring this message to the informer in Marheim. Now, the desperate refugees are on the way to Marheim, and we don't need to come back here to get paid, we just need to go to any agent to get paid. So, let's take this as well. This is a very early trip to Marheim, but it may pay off quite nicely. Right, let's... Oh, you. Spear. Dagger. Hammer. Two-handed hammer. We don't need another brute just yet. Oh yeah, so um, the, the chap down south, the, the champion who hits very hard and murders people. Yep, and we'll pay to get our gear mended. It is slightly cheaper. It's like four... It, it, slight discount on getting stuff mended here rather than elsewhere. Right, we are going to make something. Uh, a throwing knife. And again, with the arthritis-inducing minigames that we really do not need in a turn-based game. The developers, however, seem pretty set on including as many of these as possible. It feels like a mobile phone game. It feels wrong. But, look, I don't think they're going away anytime soon. So we're just going to have to learn to live with them, really. Uh, what kind of... Okay, you got a good shield. You got a temporary shield we found somewhere. You could do with a good shield. Okay. And I believe we could make one. We could. Let's do that.
And you can tell by the sound it plays what sort of speed it's going to heat up at. So, look, we've we've replaced the barrel, well, the, the boards, the wooden boards, with a heavier shield, which you'd think would gain weight, but the resources we put into that shield have also gone, so we've lost weight as well. Yeah, so ah, oh, so close. Right, uh, a Tiltron hunt. Let's ignore that for as long as possible. Uh 16, 27, we got two. Let's go get a lot of salt. Mm -hmm. Okay. Let's just leave it at that. It it won't be enough, but it will stand us in good stead. We have lots of food and a new knowledge point. It's not worth investing in the run knowledge until we can get our encumbrance down, which won't be happening anytime soon. By the time we got it down, we might have another knowledge point. So, what would I like to spend this on? Uh, cooking up all those heavy wolf's uh, bodies is actually... It can make it a lot easier for us. Make saddlebags, again, really useful. We just need a bit of... Wo bit of no, no, we need two leather as well. Okay. Is there anything here that could help us? Rationing? We're doing okay for food at the moment. It would be nice to make a good sword, heavy armor, light armor, better shield, axe. We still need to make that two-handed axe. So we need the resources before we can make any of these again. So let's go wolf sausages. Reached level two in the mysteries and wisdom path. You can now craft the lectern. Well, we don't have enough metal for that. So that's okay. Oh, and we get to rest again. That's great, actually, because uh, guess what? That means we get to cook. Okay. Melka is now better cook. Good for her. Um... So then if we throw in some apples and uh, a bit of venison, there we go. Working that down one camp at a time. And I'm aware that purchasing that heavy armor significantly affected that, but oh good, we get wages paid today. Hey you, can you like sell us stuff please give us stuff uh, okay we, we can do about these I know I know many of you are probably like thinking why didn't he sell stuff um kind of it's my stuff you know I don't want to part with it and um we will be making good use of all these things in due time but not the coal I should sell that we're not going to need coal for a very long time Coal is for like the high-end weapon and armor recipes, and we just don't need them yet. Because we're, we're not going to have them for a very long time. It'll take us a long time to get our skill up high enough to be able to make these things, to start getting the ingredients we need. I think for most of them, we need white leather. And I think white leather comes from the ghost packs, the, the ghost animals. Also, the rat slayers. When we go and do a rat's lair, we need to have lots of people. Um, and we need to try to kill all the nests around the edge, which, yes, are full of poison. So bows are really good. Um, those delayed attacks from two-handed maces 
that hit a lot harder but take a turn to set up are good. Two-handed axes and two-handed swords, that would be uh, a sword master, would be really good for clearing the rats because the rats come swarming out of the um, holes in the ground. That is another ghost pack. And we are not capable of taking ghost packs just yet. Not even remotely. So the more the more nests we kill in a, in a rat lair, the better before we kill the big fat rat. In my experience, with a company with fairly decent equipment, but no two-handed axe and no sword master, um, a company of like level four mercenaries with, with decent equipment, uh, they can take about two or three of the nests in a rat's lair before they start getting overwhelmed and perish under the seething mass of furry death that emits from the holes in the ground. So, we do not have what it takes to handle. We get Kulgara two-handed axe, and um, if we can get the, the trinket that makes someone immune to poison as well, that'd be amazing. Otherwise, it's bows. Um, any blasting attacks, like the archers who shoot those flaming arrows that burst and cover an area, those would be good. Uh, because they... You only need to shoot to the middle of the area, so you can hit, like, the, um, you might be able to get the nest that way. Is there mist in here to explore? Yes, there is. Great. We'll just take a straight line for it, then. No. No, no. People in trouble over here. We absolutely go this way, along the road. It's great. Hello. Can we buy and sell stuff, please? I thought we were the one with the wagon. I think we might even get to build a wagon. Uh, no, I don't need any of that stuff. We'll carry on. Thank you very much. We might even get to build a wagon later on of our own. That'd be really helpful. We're going to need to... Oh, let's get to that barrel before we rest. And we'll pick up those logs as well. That's great. Um, we just do the one of each for now, because we're reasonably well supplied. Okay. Duh, 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 duh. Pay wages, sure. And then we'll find a way of getting rid of those animal carcasses, but wait some. Oh! You're, you've been attacked while resting. That's great. We, we need to kill you anyway. I mean, we're going to be a bit tired and pissed off, but we'll deck the living shit out of you. Don't worry. All right. Look, there's only three of you. Give it up. You're coming this way, so we need to keep that. Oh, hello. Well then. I don't think I needed to redeploy for this one. Got to lock down that archer to prevent all of the shooting into combat. Not a kill, but... If we go over here, are we going to... Oh, risky. Right. Don't want to... Who's next? You are. Great. I mean, you are... We don't want you coming this way. Well, no. We can't come in here because then you just go that way. We want you coming this way, so that's good. Are these two equidistant? Possibly. How far can you go? Oh! Hello. Well, look. Just run up there. Throw a spear. Stab a spear. And then, be like, hey, look, I want to kill you. They're on the contract. I can afford to spend some valor on this one. Take your blooming turn, woman. 
really. Alright, I'm just going to get it here. Got a bow. Extend range. And shoot this one. Which might make him change facing to Edred, but... Okay, would you please now run across the trap? Thank you, it was barely really worth it, was it? Hmm. Okay. So then we say, aha, aren't we clever? We are apparently not very clever at all. That's unfortunate. What's the range on taunt? Nothing, okay, fine. Yeah. Well, you're getting walloped. And absolutely dead it. And you can run over to a spear woman so she can heal you of the poison. And just when he didn't quite make it into combat, he's now even further away. Yeah, you get stabbed, and it's not even a, her turn. Okay. Is that going to knock back? That's going to knock back. Yeah, two can play at that game, pal. Except she can't heal him because she is the Valor Generator. Oh, she can. Great. Do it. punch that's great cool guy you're gonna need no you're not that'll do it I was gonna say you're gonna need a bit of backup over there but no he's got it under control and speaking of control club to the head Nice. Well, we didn't come to them, they came to us. Some eyeglasses. Really, that's uh, very advanced technology. Please, have mercy, good sirs, have mercy on us. Um, I'd love to. We didn't attack you to hurt you, believe me. We only wanted to scare you so that you would hand over your crowns. Please don't hurt me. It was wrong and we knew it, but Gossenberg requires so much gold to cross the border that we had no other choice. We have no other choice but to rob travellers. Uh, I can't give you that. I could give you 250 gold and get a hunter's bow. Or just That's a lot of money, though. No, we can't afford that. We got across the border as well. And we got a doublet. Not the best in the world, but... Oh, can't no light armor yet. Ah, oh, that's pushed us over, hasn't it? We'll take that wood and be slow again. Lovely. So at this point, we are definitely needing to increase our carrying capacity. And I haven't learned how to make saddlebags yet, which means hiring another person. We don't quite have... We almost have the funds to do it, but we won't. Because it's going to cost us, cost us 200 gold to cross the border. We, we've done this before in, in an earlier episode, before they brought in the character customization patch. Um, so it's okay. It's... um, It is what it is. Is there... Okay, yes, there is a little bit there we haven't explored. We, could, we should work on that later on when we're not so heavily overburdened. For now, though, we're heading north to Marheim. This chap here would like 200 gold coverage. He's a merchant and... We can afford that later on. Who are you? Franric? I don't have enough money to cross the border. I don't know where to go from here. Well, please don't start robbing people on the roads or we'll have to kill you. 
I mean, we'll have to be paid to kill you. We're mercenaries. We won't do it for free, you know. So we're going to buy ourselves legitimate papers and get across the bridge. We can also do that at the other border as well. Now, what have we here? So, new mission, new mission. These are obviously a long way off. At some point, I should review these objectives and see what I'm closer to doing. Like, uh, knowledge learned in at least three different categories of the compendium. Well, I've done three, but it says three of five. So, do I need five knowledge in at least three different categories? Do I, as one here, none here, uh, one, two, three, here, one, two here, so if it's just cooking, smithing, and general knowledge that I've done it in, but I'll need two more categories and I just need one knowledge in each of them, right? That should be a fairly quick one to get. I'm not seeing anything here apart from just earning lots of more money from doing contracts. So that's just going to build up gradually over time. Um, making weapons and armor will take a long time. Uh, spend lots of valor points. We could try and rush that. Uh, battles continued after enemies gave up. Enemies killed. Um, I think we just focus on winning battles and doing contracts for now and then hope that as the various objectives creep up we can ascertain what we should be doing to try and complete them. It's like now it's too early to dedicate to a particular path. And we're in the province of Gossenburg where sometimes the town of Marheim has metal for sale in the marketplace. That'd be great, right? That'd be really nice. So that's 110. We get the other one, which we get paid for as well. There's often metal over here in the mountain. Or edge of the mountain. And we have these strange mandrake plants that are massive, growing in the middle of the farms throughout this area. It seems to be important. Oh, what's this? It's right there by the edge of the road. Okay, I think it's mushrooms. But, um... It's a short walk. It's wood. Great. If it was like walking over over here, I don't think I'd bother. I'm focusing now on just the journey and the fact we'll be eating food soon to reduce our burden. So those plants there will probably get picked as well. We don't have the perk yet, but lets us go faster on the roads. So I'll just waddle over there now. And I reckon we'll get to Marheim before the end of the episode. That'll be a good stopping point. Especially if I'm able to buy metal in the marketplace and go, ooh, metal, happy, shiny, you know. Because we have a lot to make. Now, obviously, I've been focused on the sorcery series at the moment, so I haven't been recording very much War Tales for now. Hopefully you guys will still enjoy watching it, somewhat belated though it may be. I know at least one of my viewers has definitely been enjoying it. Hasn't commented yet, it's alright, I know the guy. Um, okay, let's rest. We got some bread, got some beans, got some... Uh, you know what? Yeah, let's do it this way. Bread. Grilled pork. One, two, three, four. Put one back. There we go. And some beans. And then we can use that last carcass for next time we camp. Alright, we're having this. Absolutely. I see a gibbet hanging there. That must be some kind of encampment or slavers encampment. Oh, what's this? At this altar, pilgrims offer their gifts to Saint Elior and pray in the hope that she will guide them on their journey. 
I'm not going to rob shrines. I mean, I imagine that would raise suspicion for starters, but I'm not going to do it. There's usually some metal down the back of that hill as well. Let's get into Marheim, get paid a lot. So, we have Emissary Marud. Yep, pay us for that. We'll go see the informant, give him a message, and we'll uh, get paid for that as well. There we go. Lovely. We will pay our wages. We have two handed axe. Lovely. Man, I've, I've, I've. Right. Third time lucky. So, Matthias Lund, the berserker who. There's a contract to kill him. Um, he, he hits really hard. He can practically one hit kill anyone we got. But he can't be engaged, so we can actually do run by attacks and stuff. Spears and bows are really good against him, but also anyone with a close combat weapon. Don't don't end their move next to him. Hit him, run off, have someone else... Because he always goes for the closest person, and we need to make sure that the closest person is always someone who hasn't gone yet. Otherwise, it's just going to hurt like hell. Okay, finally. I was trying to say that earlier, and I just forgot it the first two times. Right. Lady, what do you got for us? No metal, but cloth. That's it. Cloth here. And I think we can get rope down south. So I'm not going to... I'm just going to go over here, get some metal if I can. And while I'm up here I'll probably see if there's any good mercenary contracts I can take. But that will probably have to wait until the next episode, because I think I'm going to end this one here. I hope you've all enjoyed this episode, and I will look forward to seeing you all in the next one. I'm going to say goodbye for now, though, and cheerio, everyone!